I hope you had a good break. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Unfortunately, because of the Ramadan, we are not able to um, offer you TRRC hospitality. Uh, thank you for, for offering it in any event. Mrs. Bensuda, just before the break, Mrs. Bensuda, just before the break, the chairman preempted me um, by going into decree number one. Sorry about that, council. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> That's what chairmen do. Indeed. <laughs> and this was um, the first decree that was passed. <laughs> Under your tenure as um, Attorney General, Acting Attorney General. And I believe there were five more that were passed. Under that capacity. Perhaps we can, before we go into the decrees, just give us a background into what was happening in, in the country then at that point. After you had met the chair, chairman, and he had indicated his desire to rule by decree, and gave you instructions for the drafting of decrees. In terms of the human rights situation in the Gambia, then what, what was the situation? Um, uh, as far as I could ascertain, and um, they really depended on a lot on rumors. As I said, all ministers had been retained. <laughs> I believe all senior military officers above the rank of um, lieutenant were also detained, uh, barring the only person I know who was above the rank of lieutenant, I believe, was Lamin Kababajo that I met, who was, who was not detained. I um, all senior police officers were also detained. Police kunyato nkolu fanalu be ye be fanan sindi dula killing. Um, there was a there was a great deal of tension in the atmosphere. Utumo sobinyolo sembo be wara nye be wara rimbake fonyoko no. Um. The, the, uh, most of the vehicles you would see on the road were military vehicles driving at top speed to and fro. Watembo ekamoto jamaje siloka beka ke soja rumoto leti inimbori balu bitaka ayutani na ebitala ebina. And as far as um, you were concerned, the detentions of the minister as well as um, the others you've mentioned, were they lawful or not? Because they were not. Nothing that the military could do would be lawful. Did or could do would be lawful. A military government is not lawful. And at that point, I agree that it wasn't um, lawful. Do you remember or do you know any other human rights violations that occurred during that time, apart from unlawful uh, detentions? Because we have received a lot of testimony about 
how some of the ministers were also tortured during this time. Ninga bota ni mula ni minister ni intangko bunda ni aronga kota mumulke muda ke sindi dula ke limo kaila o nyantu tinya. Foya lana foha dama ya nyantu tinya dolu kita lebang katunga se dan dulu jamal dar sura jangko minister dolu beje mi alonko ye dolu ye muda ye gabri ye sindi dula ke limo dolu beje ye tajire ya le ngou se dan dulu sura jangko. Foya dolu lo naba mene alonko ilata ni mumul kamba. At the time we could not know that. Otembo de mteolo nola. What we would hear uh, rumors of people being whipped. Kama mwe wale mwe la kumwe kumwe la mwe kumoli kwe kama mwe lumutale kei busa. Basically, um, and people being detained in mile two, not only in police stations and so on, but in prisons. Andu ya mwe lumutame ni alonko. Ie sambaba nko kaso bunda abala katee soronje. Hana manke police station olu damantide. Bari ye samba katee soronje. For a lawyer, that is horrendous because, as we all know, the only institution that can put anybody in a prison is the court. But later, through decree number three, Ms. Ben Suda, the council was given that um, power to detain people. But eh, eh, said, oh, eh, nyata domande in decree sabanja on yin nata na sembo di kansul doku la lale, nyata on kola la puru, isi momo murande no le ya samba kasura ka sindi dula kilin. And they assumed um, this sort of semi-judicial function as well as other legislative functions. And on the degree in Narana Sembo Dila Kolem Kome Lua Bundaro Kiti Bundale Sembo Membe Bulo No Uru Sembe Lam Kilingwa Nina Narana Kurundu Kanao Kafute Tol Kansul Nyaton Kolma Kamo Samba Kasoro Kese Indige. Decree number No decree gave the military any power. Decree to Jeme Sembo Di Sojarol It's the, 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 the soldiers were already detaining people in mile two. So generally, I'm not a drone, come on, I'm not a case from mile two. Decree number three did not give this, the, the soldiers power to detain anyone. Decree seven, gentlemen, somebody was somebody, so generally, I'm not a case from. What decree number three did was try to put in place a framework within which if you were detained, you would be dealt with. Decree seven, gentlemen, I'm not a case from mile two. Decree seven, gentlemen, I'm not a case from mile two. Ni iteli ya muda hanfu ya sindi dula killing bidu iteli la mira roto mengine nta kilela isiokela. Received evidence that apart from the fact that this decree gave them the authority to detain, but when they actually went to court, when they were arraigned in court for offences, that the magistrates' hands were tied. For example, they had no discretion to grant bail because of that particular decree, because it did give the council that power to detain and that power was no longer in the court they could no lo longer remand prisoners na said and rule mensura jan ni decree sama nyono wala ni ndiko ni decree sama nyono ay sembo di ni council member so la council mo la le ka dum hanni ngatra e momu e momu ra ya samba kiti yola kiti ya samba kasoro magistrate on memu kiti la ni ndi aka mem fo wala ni ndiko hanni bel bel ko nata aka fo ko mbulol be sitrine ka mbulol be sitrine u ka tun digiri ni e sembo tala di ni kansul nyaton ko la wala ya sabu kiti la ni aka fo ko mbulol be tedderine nte bel di no la ni ni mari la membe mu doko no um just to put things in context ruka ko lu tembendi i was very concerned when i came at the um extensive detention not only of ministers, but of so many people. And as I said, when I engaged the chairman in that meeting, about, um, about the release of the ministers, he, he refused except for the attorney general. Bunga minister la bulo fire kafu inyante bula lele abalanta le na manke atoni general. I did not raise at that meeting the release of any any other persons. Mamo dolo la bulo mama ndije de wo meeting bula tuje. And when he released the attorney general and I went with the escort, Alkali James Gay was also in the same in the same room as the attorney general. 
Bring the attorney general Labula Kuo Fai Hanufo in a tented and down Purkan Samba. Data to moment, Alkali James gave for number of Bunkil Mulukono and attorney general. Sorry to, um, I'm just trying to put things in context. Yes, I was wondering if, if, if you were going to come, and come yes, to will, my question. I will. I will. All right, I thank just you. I'm giving you the context. Thank you. Um, it concerned me that Alkali James Gay could not be released. Akitanya de unquote, where Alkali James Gay ni Atoni General Bunkono Kilimulakono. Iman so wobulala. Ule in deun the following week um I was called to a council meeting. A lokum bulata no my young command the Purunata Mabe Council Bengoto. And I advised that based on um and I advised that they could not keep um, detaining people without charge, particularly in mile two, because the detention of all these military officers came to my attention and it, it was raised at that meeting. And bring data of Bemoto. Many of the call, you more mutoni more sorongo dinkira kilota at ten ten no la satara ime to me with Manku Lekang, Lua Nyatilula. Cadro Tembo, Najibe, a Mujama Lemuta, Menialonko, a Samba Mile to Bemutolu Kono, and Womukulet me along at a Tano and Yato Purkabula. And that under our constitution, there is a procedure for the review of the detention of persons on the states of emergency. They made it clear, especially the vice chairman. And um, Mr. K Lieutenant Singate, who I met for the first time at that meeting. I call Mr. Lieutenant Singate, may I long call him senior, follow the Nabe Nogela or Bendulato. That the detention of officers, military and police officers, would not be compromised. Go, yeah, Nyaton call Melumuto, Nya, Catabula, police, Nyaton call Lao Lamuto, Falin Tekeno Lawoto. They agreed that they could subject the detention to reviews. Ari sontako wamutolu kama wulu sindi e si sone jubero ke ila kuoto ba e tribunal andu member wa jubero ke la wewe ke la kitendiri bundati they also agreed that um, going forward they would they would disclose the detention of people by actually um, issuing detention orders andu ya nyumfa na mfala kukulu bitaka nyaming ibe mwola muto itandila nyaming wala mnyinti ibe kangole itandila menketa sarto ultipurka wamulu muta in other words, as far as I was concerned, detention, um, decree number three, decree number three, which is the state security detention of armed and police personnel decree. May I long call them decree to may a bankola canton in Tankada Bunda Nyatun Kulumuta K. K. Sindula killing actually forced the military Amunta was soldier or a blow a force and curb. The excesses of what they were doing. And why William Kuti may ya long quit a little and not be called Menu Kekang Purkalo Blackola. Force them to let people know. A for Sefan and Puri Molia detaining. Telebejuma Lemuta, Ejuano Lemuta K. Cindy. It afforded the people detained an opportunity to make representation. To Molinata Molu Marco, Menbem Mutoko, no Puru, Fanalisimo, Nini Menbelo Leye. And it put in place a procedure whereby their detention can be reviewed. And we are not a cool on the mayor long column in Tico Elamuto is saying can Jubero Keno Elamuto da Lilola. But let me emphasize that the decree or decree did not authorize them to arrest anyone. A man Sembe was Sembe de la Purka Momuta. These people were already detained. You molly all Muta le Foka Pare. A decree does not add, so to speak, does not give, does not empower. Does not, does not give the military any power that they already did not have. Decree buka sembedi soja rola sembo me yalonko wote bulu foka pare. Mrs. Ben Suda, let me just interject at this point. Uh, Mrs. Ben Suda, mbarunga bandambili nyaro yinyintimben. I understand that your position is that um, when you came as acting attorney general, you came to basically stabilize the situation. Na nyimfa mle wato mene karfari attorney general didele inata dinkira mpalaso nyi yata menka mwole nyintiko ka dinkira nyinta ka tembendi. You're also saying that the decrees uh, were just a reflection. 
of the status quo and we be for ko ni degree ni mu kulla do men yalon ko hakili bulandi kulla do men ko kulla nyaabe nyaamen and that in fact it did not give them any powers that they did not already have because they were detaining people and man sembo di la me yalon ko man men soto ka dum ndaro yo kelon han kabi ko man however i wish to put it to you han kabi nyaayo nyo nyaakil mo nyaama be yitandi lela ko that the decrees ko ni decree ni legitimized everything that the military government was doing at that time so jar man sakunda be ko ku ke kanu aya beta aya be sabati ndile by giving it the force of law be men ke kanu ana na sembodi la wala wala karola um first of all let me just um <coughs> clarify something folo folo mbor na din kira kilen sen yarni um the military did not appoint me as attorney general so jarol man de tembon ka atone general makamo dinna there is a law officers act uh watumu lua be there's a law there's a law wo lua le tim lua be je mrs bensura i'm sorry to interject again but yes. kindly just yes. perhaps answer my questions first and then um explain mrs bensura bunya ko no ronal nyini karo nyi ajabi nga nyini ka nyamen ro you really seem to be deviating a little bit from my I'm questions i would like you to address them directly and then perhaps hmm. give us an explanation or some context amundam vele ko nanyini karo nyi be jenke kan nanyini karo nyi ne pour ka jabide amai it's not my intention to deviate amanke nanga nyoti pour ka silo bula this is about what 25 years ago ni musa ni mo ni lulu comment ko wolati and and the answers require contest but i'll do my best to answer your question first aru nyini karo le me nyini ka jabiro nyini karo le jabiro me nyini ka wolam kolu ibe bulari nyo no ma nyami be dendi nyo la nyami barbi tum ba katala le itala nyinin ka ro nga ok ngolu jabi thank you very much and also just within the context of you know uh, the limited time that we have available as well and ibe jabi la nyami bulari nyo no ma nyami fana si hakilo bulandi fana wato 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 men fana ben bulwa man siaba quite a few topics to cover kanu fanna jamal le be je mialon ko nyenna kachala thank you but um sometimes the context of your question requires clarification inumbara bartuman lolu ila nyinin karo e akoto kama nyinin ka fo e dinkira lolu sata e senea what i was going to say was that by the law officers act me left am fo lam nun woto wolam nyindi ko luwa e tel kata manu menna in the absence of the attorney general solicitor general takes over the office of attorney general attorney general coma solicitor general le ka officer taman so notwithstanding whatever announcement they made about permanent secretaries in the absence of attorney general effectively i was attorney general it is fm fm kankula bitum abelari nyaw nyandi nyama wayri attorney general ti je solicitor general nin kum wala kalo palaso to kaw ko lutamandi not by virtue of any authority conferred on me by the military man do ban ke dalila wo dalila ti ka fo sojaro lu wolle yo sembo dintela i'm going back to your question ila nyinin ka ro kan military governments do not need legitimization so german sakunda lul bu kanyen kanen ka fo ko men bentela ko to tilindi la ka ke tonya koti wala ka ke ku sahari ngoti men ni sartolu sita their authority flows it is less symbolic kan wo katamale you know from the their their guns and wo akabu mune bala ila kidolu men bebulu they have taken over the country ye banko tale they are de facto in charge of the country munta o tembo e tele be marari bankola against our will akule mem mandi antolie the only way anything can be legitimized if it is legitimized in accordance with the constitution ko kundi sitili ndi no nang ayata ra misal kama an inconstitutional account tata no nyola mo siola kumandi no silindi roti so decrees do not legitimize ko to decree lu buka tilindi roti ni action of a of the military government man sike sojar man sakunda la ku ke talit may give it decrees may give it a structure decree lu silo du la di la they may put in place a system is ko lu fana lu tamandi nya londi put in place a framework is ko lu fana lu la nya londi but they cannot legitimize but it a tilindi no la ka fu nyi mulu lu sarti lor ngolet this is ben sura the decrees give force of law decree le sembo di luata luala la and that is exactly what it did because even as the constitution stands the and decrees are recognized as one of the laws in this country and dunga e wala ke handung han ya jibe va nyin decree wolam kudum yalon ko suuten ro dita wolle la baake fanka ke luwa de nyin banko ga 
And at that point, in fact, they even took supremacy over the very constitution. And on what in Arana sort of a new degree in Arana Tambi Maralo, Maralo, and Maralo Narana Tambi Katambi and Wabuba Fangola. If you look at decree number one, which you drafted, and on near you be decree following you may along with a whole SFA. Although it did not suspend the entire constitution, Tonyala among the Wabuba and Yamabe by the there was a provision that said whenever any provision of the constitution was in conflict with the particular decree, the decree would take precedence, it would be supreme. So therefore, in my view, decree number one as well as the other decrees that were Past during your tenure really set the scene for dictatorship in this country. Decree, I understand. Decree following an in decree dole me along all the bulata decree following in no kang all be able to get a decree me along all the na you to do okay cool me along all the mara loaning banko kanya. I understand that you do not recognize or did not recognize the legitimacy of that dictatorship or the government at the time. However, I understand that was the status quo. And unfortunately, in your position, and as also parliamentary, you know, ex-parliamentary council with expertise in legislative drafting and all of that, you were very instrumental. And we get a more than a long nose of the Safiro to Luara Carol and then you get a parliamentary council to you more than a long nose of the back of Kuanyin Dole. In giving them that framework. Kao Kuanyin Alhalo Nyin Taka Dila. Within which to maneuver and navigate. And don't get to see 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 Um, the, um, thank you. Um, I think with respect, Council, um, we are confusing certain concepts, I think. In Umbara Council, Barangamera Mbekodulu Jekan Yaming, Abekekang Nyaminyololet. It wasn't uh, the, the coup d'etat of 22nd July. 1994 was probably one of the last coup d'etats in the sub-region. July Karotil Mwani Mflo coup d'etat nga mera asekeno wole mkoup d'etat laba ngote menkata nyin tundo la? From the 60s up to 1994 there were various coups across the region. Kabo 1960s angolula for kana 1994 coup d'etat jama leketa tundo nyina? Military governments ruled by decree. So jalman sakunda lo katama ni decree la? All the Ministry of Justice could do was to draft the decree for them. Minister Bunda and Marta Kitu in Tilimula will come and care no wrong will and call decree will suffer any acne. They do not need decrees to justify their existence. It will be a little in decree of La Purka, Ila law, and Ila Sembo Purka, and law, and the cartil in the Casam Bentuya. They don't need decrees. In other words, they don't need a decree to, to rule. Near you, Benya Lunyama, a Mansula decree La Purka Maraoke. They had removed. The legitimate government, there was no decree for them to come in and remove the legitimate government. Italia Mansa Kundale Bondi Maya along Kole Mulla Mansa Kunda Lorimuti. Imansula no decree la Janibe or Mansa Kunda Bondila. There was no decree when they arrested and put the ministers in jail. Decree the Karen and Briba Minister Lumutala Kesoron Casola. They did not need a decree to subvert the constitution. Imandic Sula decree and Umpurka Bangola constitution or Yelamandi. But the country which they were ruling. Required decrees in order to understand what the military government was about. So did the decree set a scene, as you put it? No, the scene was already set. Was I very instrumental? If you mean, um, did we, um, uh, by instrumental, did um, we... Um, you assisted the government, you assisted the military rule, because you said they had a, a blueprint. So you assisted them to accomplish that blueprint simply by drafting those laws. I you assisted them to accomplish that blueprint simply by drafting those laws. No, they did not need my assistance 
to follow their blueprint if, if you mean did i put that blueprint into a coherent framework in some some of its respects I'm um, yes ah. I was the solicitor general in charge of the ministry of justice where we to close our doors and ask everybody to go home no the country needed a government now that the legitimate government was gone. Reflect. Government was, yes. You said the country needed a legitimate, it needed a government. Yes. You have said the government was not legitimate. You have reiterated that because you said there can never be a legitimate No, coup. I said the coup was not legitimate. The military regime were not legitimate. The military government was not legitimate. Yes, but there was point. there was a there was an establishment. Let's make a distinction between those who were in charge and the establishment that they found. I was part of that establishment. Munta utumu itelebe kolo tala tumu meng itelebe mansa kunda atelindo ngole bondi ye isita ye semo ta ibulo kono isita adu itelebe menu tala do kola. And I'm talking about the military government as it stood. Did you recognize its legitimacy or not? And to be specific, yeah, yeah, AJ Jame with his junta members Waleng. as sitting as the council did you recognize their legitimacy at that point because no Ani? nothing i did could legitimize if you did not recognize their legitimacy why were you answering to them why were you working for them why were you obeying the instructions? Why did you go ahead and draft all of those decrees? But as Sila Nima Nimela Manzakunda and you were on Nimela Maraloni, Nima Sude, Munea Sabi Kafutima, Foyka Safiroke, Foyka Kamote Bull, Foyka Inika Kulke, Simon and Ekoke. I was the, as I said, I was the um, acting attorney general by virtue of the Law Officers Act. They did, they, they did not need my recognition. They just needed my skills to reflect what they did and what they wanted to do um, in a framework, as I said. cannot be called law because but that's why they are called decrees. They were going to rule by decree. But the public needed to know the rules of the game. Right. So my role, if I may just put it succinctly, my role was to prepare the instrument. But on the Lord Lula moment no wala mnyenti ka jorango dada. As requested, and that was the decree. They don't need my legitimization or my recognition. They did not. With all due respect, Mrs. Bensula, you're still not answering my questions directly. Mrs. Bensula, how can you be a good person? How can you be a good person? How can you be a good person? And I will ask some further questions, and yes, I hope please. that you will assist us um, with answers, <coughs> direct answers. And when you come in, you don't need to call us. You don't need to call us. You don't need to Very well, counsel. At that point, you had the skills, like you said, you had the know-how, you had expertise in drafting decrees. Oh, what will I call you? I'm a London insurer. I'm a foreign insurer. I'm a poor guy. Decree in South Africa. These soldiers, with a difference, had their blueprint. They had a concept in mind.
in sojaro min yalla nata e fi nata e koytol nata ni kula nyalla mi yalla koytol bi mu sojaro mi yalla koytol kolbe fatala le ni hila fan sun hamol le nata ko ya fo nyame wish they communicated to you as the act, acting attorney general andu ila ha men ko wolu ni ngani law ferol ni membe to yow be fo e de ne tumala men ta bunu atoni general ya be karfari telamanu they had no idea how to carry out this blueprint tol mum molde mi yalla koy mallon di soto ko pour ke lay hamol ni ke tamande ko luwa yayi tande nyame they had no idea how to draft Uh, decrees in fact if you look at your statement you'll see that you had to do some sort of comparative analysis between the different military regimes at the time and dum hani gabila kuma kan safere ngon nyindo nyeje fon jube iba ka iba jela je ko ya safi je ko ito kabri to ni nyim fero fon nata ite fero men ta wala nyinde ko ye dinki ban ko dol me alon ko wol ye nyim ku sifal ya tamal le no yewol ni ila hamol ni la fero ni yewol le ko taki folo ya jube folo jani ba safele and using that you had to come up with a draft which you felt reflected our unique circumstances here in the Gambia and nun ja in kabriol be ko taki ya jube janni bina be tay tay tal safele tol hamen ko mendi wala mindi ko ina na na yola jube janni be ta safele janni ba safele and this draft was presented to the council and nun ying safero ni ni kabriya safe ya di ni council molale and i dare say that the contents of the decrees and nun hanin ka bimba fo la je ko ni decree ni kuma ko mem be furu ni ye were very much influenced by you And nun kuma kan le me alon ko ila kula kuma kan wala nun mo si tawan no no ila wala la because you selected those particular provisions which you felt were appropriate adu itele mo itele mo moti me alon ko yo kuma kan ni tomba andu ya jela ko itele mira do ko kuma kan ni kuma kan de me alon ko isabati isikeno la ni ni tawan de and these were later passed and nun nyaato do mande ni kuma kan ni nata ni muna faila Yes Ms Bensuda <laughs> I I lost the question that's a very long statement Wakama jam fata bitum ila nyinin karo fongo filitamma And I it, it's I, very I similar to one of your answers Ms Bensuda <laughs> you because your answers are different. also very wide um very long winded What is, what is the question really You provided assistance to the junta at that time it le de maro di junta molla wo wato la without your skill and Ita, ability it la londo ani la noto wo wato la they never would have been able to come up with those decrees by which they ruled this country it will ni wo decree ni nte fintino la jama kon pour mi alon ko surtout mi alon ko inata ni to mu na fa wo decree le la kamara kamara lokala personally i i don't agree ndak mo de manson i i happen to be the person there akatala ko ndela moti membe palaso nyindo i couldn't say that we had my we had my skills ndata fono la fanango anani nan no manta they would not have been able to rule this country ka foko nani ndela no manta etel te banko mara no la nun by decree mrs bensuda i'm talking about the decree specifically mbe decree ole ma mbe decree ole la ko mo foko um the decree I don't agree just to answer your question first. Mansong decree la karola pour que la ko mo jabi folo. The military as I said don't need a decree. They were already in charge. So jaro lu ngani ne foko e mansu la decree la ka do tumo e sembota le foko pare. Mrs. Bentura I believe you have. Let me say it's a situation that needed a decree not the military. Am ko le be keri men ya lon ko wala sula ta decree la. Man ko so jaro lu sula ta decree. Let me just say for that they could have continued as they were giving orders. Tell si continue no le nungi be nyame be kangulu di kang it had a decree this is when to i believe your point is well taken yes. really on 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 that mm. but i wanted you to answer whether or not without you said without your assistance they could have actually come up with this decree is that what you're saying i'm sure they i'm sure they eventually would have come and follow me to fight be fight to give bang see any decree sina no la Um, uh, without the assistance of the legislature let me just say the impression that people have but when you for molie me miran these are a bunch of stupid innocent people who did not know what was going on kafuni no correct ni lu mukafuleti men ya lon ko mubukata may mam fello e man imam fem fello hani wa tew nyaade the certainly did not have done, sorry they had done their homework as i said and they knew about decrees that it, military people rule by decree italie la kolu crossi i fango yenne andu te lalondo to nyillo ne ko so jalman sakunda la kamara ro kenen decree mrs bensuda did they come up with a draft which they presented to you for example when i fan so miro na la safero do ba yemi yemi italie they had so much knowledge on decrees member itandila ko to nyaato nyaye londo so ro nyin decree la ko to 
No, they did not come up with a draft. They asked us to provide a draft. And you did. It is not draft man. It is here can in the blue book of Yes. Ah. We did. But even Nothing. if I was in there, whether they would eventually have gotten somebody else to draft something, I believe so. The but I, we were the ones who asked no. us to draft it, and we did. And then tell the judge, "No, let her go." It will be fair to the man. Did I be silly? No, no, no. Did you not know that I am intelligent? Did you? And you, now that you know, you are not. But the man, it will be a cool killer. The fact of the matter is that this is not a hypothetical situation. You were the one on the ground. You were there. You were acting attorney general at the time. Tu hanya mendoakan yang nyaman ke mawar guru. Itulah benung je. Itulah menung atau ni general ia berkarya di telama. Itulah benung ofisian itu awat ola. And therefore you would have been the only one to do the job at that time. Amun dah waktu itu drone yang berkela mautin awat ola membawa dua kau ni kini. And you did it. And dia kene. Yes. Ha. And that is what I want you to take responsibility for. And so saya in left tak puri yes awal lah ya do nota. What is there to take responsibility for? That you assisted them to draft the decrees. Ko itele diema puruka ni degree ni nta ke safi. It was my role as the acting attorney general to receive their instructions. Nta la lolo la lolo ni nti ko attorney general ya be karafari nta la ma watu nsi la kumakamu lwe si futa ni mali. To instruct the parliamentary council. Jom defenan si kamu di Parlimenteri Kansul lah, walaupun bunda memerta o satu lula. And I did. And dunga ke oleh nyam. Very well, we'll take that answer and I'll leave it to the commission to to decide. What did I take responsibility for the decrees? Berkafu ko for until we do not have a pro decree or lakarola. That was not my question. That was not my question. Thank you. My question was that you were assisting them. That is all I said. I did not say that you, you came up with a concept or the idea that has already been well established, but that you assisted them to draft it. You, you could have said, you could have said no. You could have said no. You could have said no. Probably, but I, as far as I was concerned, what waited, what waited on me was the public interest, what was in the interest of the public at that time. Could we contain the excesses of the military? Fudu itelbela na tambi kulo meno kena keka ngo tumo four nsi yolo London ola ba. Certainly decrees were needed. Tuja tu njia watu solo be o decree ola lenu. Not for the benefit of the military, military. Bara manke puru sojaro la na fade. But for the benefit of the people. Bara puru puru molo la na fa. And are you saying, Mrs. Benzuda, that these military decrees actually benefited the public and that they were? In the interest of the public. Munda se loika mfuole mnyindi kwa ni soja rola indikri ni yeye ni mfindi. Amuda ika fuole kwa jamaa la nafa nafa e nafa leba. Especially considering all the evidence that we have received, that this was a tool by Yaya Jame to entrench himself in power in this country. Surutu abeo kono wole ni denga se dendi rola mbele sura jangu moja maya fa jangu ni mu luale tume alongo Yaya Jame ki muna fa ila ladram puru kafu tu tu sambor. Decrees that I drafted. The decree that I drafted was for the was in the interests of the public. Now the public chose in 1997. Jama Molu. chose in 1997. Yemen Tombo 1997. Instead of repealing these decrees, they were incorporated in the 1997 constitution. In atau decree ulu tayi dunia 1997 constitution aku no sarta buku banyu kau no. The greatest part of the violation of rights which occurred in this country. Nyanta tinya sembema ba men kita nyimbang kau kang. Occurred after the 1997. Constitution came into effect. A bill that was written in 1997, Constitution or Constitution or in law, that is for a time and no damn data. Those decrees are still in our statute books. What decree? Oh, how many? Ben, the law book. Oh, look, Colonel. 
That is the choice of the Gambian people, not the Solicitor General or Mrs. Bansuda. Among the Gambia, the only one who voted for the Solicitor General was Mrs. Bansuda. Among Mrs. Bansuda, the only one Gambia, the only one who voted for the Among her, you are banned. Thank you very much, Mrs. Bensuda. <laughs> I appreciate your opinion on that. But let's just have a look, perhaps, at decree number one. <laughs> and um, perhaps um, you could comment on it briefly for us. And I will just guide you whilst you do that. You agree that the decree had retrospective effect? In its operation. Um, the decree was given effect as, I think it was um, effective from 22nd July. And, and when was it passed? Yeah, um, that was the day on which they took over power. When was it passed, the decree? Um, the decree was promulgated on the 29th of July. So it had retrospective effect. Um, it had retroactive effect. Very well. When, what, what was the date you reported to the chairman after you came back? The same date, the 29th. The same date, the 29th. And when was it passed? The And therefore, this decree was passed on that same day. It was announced that evening. But the publication was actually done the following week. So therefore it was actually, um, was it gazetted? Yes, it was gazetted, but as you know, I mean, you That was done the yeah. following week. It was done the following week, week yes. Okay. I, I don't have the gazette publication, so I cannot tell you the, the, the gazette number and date, but well, it was gazetted the following week. Yeah, uh, gazette or local member to know more. Gazette or gazette in Tembulu, well, I'm going to tell you one thing. And of course, it's um, apparent that these, dec these decrees were churned out very quickly because in the space of 15 days, whilst you were acting Attorney General, six decrees had been promulgated. Yes, um, six decrees were promulgated whilst I was um, acting. Was overseeing as Attorney General, yes. Ah, uh, what member Attorney General ya makamo tamandi kang wo decree wo rolo findi ta utumole. These decrees, unlike normal laws, would would go through different processes and would take months, you know, sometimes to actually pass. In decree lani lua kota ngo dol ning jani beza la ke sabat ni ke ke lua alti. Wati jamal beje kata ika dingira jamal lama folo wana deka kari jamal lada folo jani beza sabat ni la ke ke lua alti. In the instance of decree number one, was passed within one day after. You consulting with the uh, chairman. Ms. Alfe, degree number following him for Okada degree me along co loom follow me now in Kiaman Darale or Bomans or Lunkin in the Yatam in the Kakaluad. Yes, that is the nature of military rule. You don't have to take it to anybody. They are the executive and they are the lawmakers at the same time. I will am soldier of Lamaro Kenyati, Kadu Kundonka, Betel Lebul, Sembo, Betel Lebul, between the Kataman, you will Isn't it true that? Uh, even in, in this particular decree number one, they were also the judiciary. Yeah, no, no. If, if they, you look at no, the, the chapter on the judiciary was not suspended. Mrs. Bensuda, if you look at the provision of the decrees taking precedence over the constitution, which was within the sole jurisdiction of the Supreme Court at the time, or the courts. The fact that court. even the courts could not question the validity of the decrees. In my view, gives them judicial power.
rendela mira loro wese mbodi dal koy tollam kiti der laldi because the course were no longer relevant were they katum kiti bundalo mon ko maya ko tanke ko ni so they assume that role ro ya munda ko to council mon ni to lewo du palaso ni nta ka kiti der laldi i don't agree manzo wuro la decree number 1 as drafted did not oust the jurisdiction of the courts Degree number one, sir, the name is Woman Kiti Bunda Lakamo Burkade. Did not suspend the courts. Woman Kiti Bunda Luden. Not expressly, but by implication, it did. Woman Kiti Bunda Luden. Not expressly, but by implication, it did. Woman Kiti Bunda Luden. Not expressly, but by implication, it did. Woman Kiti Bunda Luden. I don't also agree with that. Woman Kiti Bunda Luden. Can you tell us why? If you are not able to resort to the court, if the court is not allowed to question the validity, um of the decree and cannot interfere in the operation of the decree and it decree is supreme to the constitution then i don't see what the role of the court there is ni misal kam kiti bunda man sembe soto ka kuta man di goto i'm guided adun, by my my learned senior yo adun eh uh, anata ke kuti me ya lon ko kiti bunda ma sembo soto ka kuta man di je adun iman ko ko din no je a wuto silan wuto o kiti bundal nafa e lodu lale i i think you are referring to section 5 of the of decree number 1 na mena decree number 1 wala decree pro la bundal lolu njango e bole mate as ah. well as the other provision that it goes to if you read it in context it talks about the supremacy of the decree over everything else the constitution and the courts adunia ji be bita futa la dulato dama ya lonko wolem dikri nyin ke ba yati ka tambi kudo lula men ya lonko wolebe laren ka ta han fo supreme court fo la sartol um what what that means is that the courts do not have the jurisdiction to question whatever um is done by decree wala min di kiti bundalu e telu man nyin lodu la so kanyin ka roke decree nyin ay kolu menu lamdi wala ay kolu menu tamandi but that does not affect the continued existence of the courts bari wo man koku ndi soto kiti bundal la loning ila tamo kenya la ni be keri let me remind you that this provision bari nga kilo blandi ko nyin sarto in a different formulation ning abela nya do nyama exist in the 1997 constitution aba kere nun ko 1997 constitution o kono and uh, it's still binding on the courts and do halim be at keta kuti membe lu larin na kiti bundalu kan so the courts continue to exist but kiti bundalu continue to let her katara kering and i did not um, say the courts did not exist no, I, my my point was that as far as this decree is concerned the jurisdiction of the court was ousted ma foko wato ya tare ko kidi bundal man dara tamaka bari ibe tamaka ne no wato bari komi ila lodlali nyenta ka min tanu o mu fenne de mi alan ko o man tara no nge in so far as they cannot question the validity of a decree yes ha nin aya tara decree nyin na barako ete o nyin ka arte ke no la wala bay data ke no la i will ah. move on i will move on mrs ben sudan unless you have something else to say i'll move no. on to the next mm. point be continue la fona atre fendo be bulumia e lafta kam min fo and it also this particular decree actually suspended um a part of the constitution which was schedule 1 of the and 1970 constitution wala nyin decree nyi nga keta fenne de mi alon ko na banko loi bugo nyi nga ka tam banko ka tam loi bugo min far sato dol bi je mi alon ko nyin decree o landele man tara tam kan ko ten sorry schedule 1 I believe so. Schedule one. What am I bound to follow? No, the the provisions that are suspended are in Schedule one of Decree Number One. I'm not bound to many along with you. Then we will be certain in the bound to follow you, Nella. Yes. So um, it's suspended. It's chapter four of the chapter Constitution. Chapter four. Yes. Chapter four yes. relates to the. president and his cabinet sa panani njaw betilindi president na la cabinet la wala la ala maral kafunyolu and therefore the council was now sitting in that place sa kam do ko council nyimbe sirin wala the chairman and the council were sitting chairman. in the place of the president and the cabinet chairman na ana de nyol wala council ti be sirin no dinkra la do mi alon ko president na la cabinet la nyanta taron yes they became the executive ay telna ta ke kundon ko luti 
And I'm aware that although there was not a wholesale suspension of the Constitution, but this definitely paved the way for that happening later in Decree 30, I believe. Na yele ko koma man koko na bangulu wa buko ni ya bele londi imana bele londi bar kabu watu mna yenyi dikri londi kafu mi ya dikri tati wale silo di fo waketa no. So I don't understand the question. Pave the way for suspension of the entire constitution. Me ya silo walang purka constitution o bede. In dikri number one, a part of the constitution had been suspended. Dikri number one. And later on in Decree 30, the entire constitution was suspended, including the fundamental rights um, sections. And I understand that you were not um, in your position at that point when Decree 30 was passed. But I'm saying that Decree number one, which you which you were involved with, set the pace. But in Bafulako, Yaja would decree number one, Mia Lanka Etaraji, will fung a silo walang for nin decree tati lotano. No, I don't agree. Um decree number one did not um, as you put put it um set the pace. Kwa funu nyam manson the decree following nyung woman silo walang. No did it pave the way. A uh, man silo walang fereng what decree number one did. Decree number one ye menke is to suspend all those provisions which were in the constitution well, which, um, were, which were no longer relevant to the situation. Well, um, sarto lumeni alonko iti lejero tui mankumma ya kolu lanya fe ya wole den. There was no president or cabinet. President ekeri nuotumu sako cabinet. So the chapter on president and cabinet were suspended. Most of, the, most of the provisions which follow are consequential on those main two main factors. There was no parliament. Parliament carrying the debate. Bunte carrying the chapter on parliament was suspended. So that is what decree number one did. Decree number one, lakuo muwaleti. Now decree thirty was passed. Decree thirty, which came into force on the twenty-nine March, two thousand and twenty-two. Decree number one, lakuo muwaleti. Now decree thirty, which came into force on the twenty-nine March. Decree sabanjango menna ata March karo kono. Nineteen ninety-five. Menka ata nineteen ninety-five sango kono. I'm actually suspended the fundamental. Uh, human rights provisions of the constitution. Well, and at a certain level, men get a hadamaya nyanto la kunyalti. By then, there was a team that was advising, a legal team advising the um, forces provisional ruling council directly. Watumo lua kafuso tonta le menube ni sojar kafoya Amerikang menu la menube lo ringo palaso to watumo. These were not Gambians. Uluman ke Gambian koluti. And I believe their advice was that there was no place for a human rights chapter. And in a military government. Nga mera iti laya maro keta nyine tiko. Hada maya nyanta lodula manyan sotola sojar bunda la mararoko. I believe that even before decree number 30 was promulgated, in decree number one, there was no place for human rights anyway. La talako, jamning decree 30 from wabina, decree number one, where it endiro ke lako, hana madungo le nyanto woman dinkra soto wa watu wa nyimba koka. By the fact that not only was the jurisdiction of the courts which were established to protect fundamental human rights out there. And wobe kamfanga atara kiti bundabe lori miya longo wale nyanta katanka ndiro ka hana madungo le nyanto la. But also because the decree was supreme as well to the constitution. And definitely we know the spirits um, in which the APRC junta came and the various human rights violations that were committed as you alluded to. So the spirit of decree number one was against 
protection of fundamental human rights. Sa eba jelo ko nyin dikri sa fromi alon ko ya londi ala dalilo minto wala nyin de pui kana khadama dungo la nyanto ka tankandi. I don't agree. Nte so manso wala. Decree number one did not suspend fundamental human rights. Decree following number one, among Hadamaya Nyanta Tonyalu, among Hadamaya Nyanta Bundalu, a made in So it enabled us at the Ministry of Justice consistently push for the military, the, the military hunter. Ain Makwele Puruka Sojar Bunda Nyori Puruya Hadamaya Nyantolu Bunya. Thank you very much. Perhaps we can move on and I will allow the commission to decide on that point. Baraka, We've looked at decree number one. Mm -hmm. Can you just guide us through the rest of the decrees that you you assisted the junta to to pass? Decree number one, we will look at all. So I'm very familiar with all the decrees. Yem ma koi decree mi alangko ite double to all the economy alangko wo junta man sakunda ye all lete dan. And to to buttress um, my answer in respect of the non-suspension of decree, um, the fundamental human rights chapter of the 1970 constitution. The Monday following um, my return, that is the, the, uh, the, the 29th was on a Friday, on the Monday, the State Council rushed to my office. State Council. State Council. State Council. State Council. Lawyer, lawyer, And said that uh, managing directors had been arrested. managing director Mutale. And we are sort of being paraded on a truck. In Banjul. Banjul Sate Kono. So I rushed to State House. Nyamoto Tata State House. Because when I met the chairman. Even though he was talking about setting up commissions of inquiry, this is one of the things he said in his discussion with me. He had, he had specifically said there would not be a witch hunt. But I was ushered in to see him. And I protested the arrest of the managing directors. I, I told him that this was contrary to his assurances that um, there would not, not be a witch hunt. And, and particularly their humiliation by being put on a truck just on based on mere allegations of corruption. So um, so um, he called in uh, Lieutenant Sanasabali. Utumola Lieutenant Sanasabali Kumandi. And uh, Sanasabali said uh, that these people were corrupt and were criminals. Utumola and Sanasabali Kunyumulu Munakarla Litiadumu Kurumul Lemuiti. That they had been taken to Mile 2. Koye Samba Mile 2. I stood my ground. Nalu Dulango Bamba and Dilotan Noto. And uh, reiterated uh, and remonstrated with them. That they could not put people in mile two without trial. Finally, they agreed that the managing directors would be released. And um, he promised to call me and confirm when they were released. And that evening he phoned to say that he had given instructions for them to be released. I could, I could not have done that if there, were no fundam there was no fundamental rights provision in the constitution or if fundamental rights had been suspended. As far as I was concerned, 
and more importantly as far as decree number 1 was concerned alunka kolla kuma ya jube decree number 1 fam fanana karola fundamental human rights chapter in the constitution was operative eh hadama ya nyanto sabatin dolu nen abaru malu banko kan wutumode ibe lorinne and we um, that was why consistently we emphasized that human rights had to be respected wala non continue to kanyim bambandi ko if I can just make a comment there, Mrs. Bensuda. The operation of human rights and fundamental um, rights was not coming. It wasn't protected through the provisions in the decree or the constitution. This was a special effort you made to free these individuals. And that is why they were freed. That is not how um, fundamental human rights operate. They should operate freely um, um, by, by law or by the constitution. And as far as I'm concerned, the decree decree number one decree number one superseded all of those the provisions of the constitution wala lata wala 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 be santo katambi nyim banko luwa bukula and just to preempt you before we get to decree number 3 the people that i left a call me for that but say i'm not a decree in the final if you remember the case of chongan and others ni hakilo bakan chongan na monyol mi alan ko be diamo ko na wala kiti diamo di they were acquitted and discharged by a magistrate. They were basically listed in the, in the list that was attached to decree number three. And they were security detainees. 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 Despite the fact that they were acquitted and discharged, the overriding power of decree number three applied in that instance. So therefore, like you said, even though the courts were functioning, as well as the rights under the 1970 constitution, However, However, the decree superseded them. But Was that a very long question again? <laughs> oh, well, I, I did, it was a statement. I was <laughs> going to. I'm going to ask that you agree or disagree with the statement. Then, in that case, no, left, I mean, I'm putting it to you. Let, let me shorten my question so that I can get a direct answer from you. Let me let me shorten my question so that I can get a direct answer from you. Let me shorten my question so that I can get a direct answer from you. Let me shorten my question so that I can get a direct do you remember, do you remember the case of Chongan and others? Fue hakilo bakane Chongan na monyol mi ale blota kiti diamo kono. No the details. Ma be mo. What is the date of the case? Okay. I do not have the date of the case, but um this was sometime I believe in 1995 if I'm not mistaken. Ah ma lungo ni lande bring hakilo bakan ko kama be benna watele fe mi ala ka be kala 1995. I'm sure you're aware of Chongan and others being arrested as security detainees immediately following the military coup. Ndin jikita la ko hakilo bakan ne wato mi ala ko ye chongan na monyol muta ye ye tonko ko tol mu molleti mi ala ko tol mu tanko bunda molleti wala tna ye blo le kam. Were you aware of instances where the security detainees were discharged For or acquitted by court, but they could, that could not happen because of decree number three, which you 
drafted. Fue hakilo baka neko, mwol miyala mko eko tanko bunda mwole mwiti, ye samba kiti ndiro la kiti yo nati ebula. Bada wopula roo ni amana sembo soto na wakatu dikiri lebije miyala mko, awo masakunda ambe kiringi ye, 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 ye fansu sujini wo dikiri lawo, andu wo dikiri etele moti miyala mko ete fongole asafe. Uh, which provision are we really talking about in decree number three? The strategy man for in decree number three. We're just looking at the generality, the generality of uh, decree number three. Ba bele jibe kan decree number three. Fema fema yalong ka daba kono ba bele. If you look at it, it states that um, the supreme uh, power resided in the council to detain. Members of the security forces. And that because the decree overrided the constitution as well as the courts. Just like in decree number one, the hands of the courts were tied. If you look at um, 2-1, I'm looking at decree number 3. 2-1 uh, of which of the decrees? Decree number 3. Decree, decree number, number three. 3. Yeah, that is state security detention two of one, yes. police personnel. Yes, it says that um, where the vice chairman of the armed forces chairman of the armed forces provisional ruling council is satisfied that the arrest and detention of a member of the force is in the interest of the security of the Gambia, he may make a detention order in the form prescribed. Mm -hmm. And that is the general order to, to make detentions, to order for detentions. Uh, Chairman Safon Oleko, Wale Lawo Junta Chairman Ole, Nyaton Koning, Safon Oleko, Nyim Mo Tanko Bunda Mo, Nse Mutan Ole, Nata Lako Chairman Ajeloko, Lawo Mutaroni, Ajatra La Puriye Muta, Asina Kamadi Koye Muta. It also states in subsection 2 that, in fact, the Vice Chairman may direct the place that the person is going to be detained. And on Fonal Saturday, Fonatato, Balamia, be choking in Wobalamia, it and Roke, Ko, Mia Lonko, Wale Sino, be Chairman or Nom. Wase ya marodi no le kumi nyimol nyimol mi alango yeye muta wale ntangu bunda mol multi isafono le dinkral to mi alango yenyenda ke mabo wale to. It goes on further in subsection three to state that the conditions of detention are also determined by the vice chairman, including even as to confinement, maintenance, discipline, and punishment for breaches of discipline. A continent of Fanka for Fanko mean Dinkral to Mialanko and Yantake Mabo Damento will be a symbol that chairman no malancolable for Mintate la Kulula Carole, la Taranala Carole, and Yantamil Laleka. And we all know that even in the case of Chongan and Umbe alone, the Minkata Chongan la Carola, and Mama Cham and others, and in Mama Cham na Munyol, during the period of their detention, the Watu Mialanko Mutokonon. On the 6th day of September 1994, members of the junta, except the chairman himself, went into Maltu, subjected them to brutal torture, as well as a mock execution. And who knows if um, that may not be a lawful interpretation of maintaining discipline and punishment and, and all of that. But I assume that would be under the exclusive purview of the vice chairperson to the vice chairman too to interpret but you know no go we be to the chairman on in a blue wall of vice chairman on in come up oh quote alanya and we like a focal car feeling but mrs bensu that this is the the decree that you drafted and you gave extensive powers mrs bensu that two members of the council in decree luani fen the mia longo it a family i did a and do it for all an atom room could a yes symbol d in the mall decree Sorry, you expect me to respond, I suppose. Of course, I do. Um, the military officers, Chongan and others, were already de in detention when this decree was, was um, promulgated on the 4th of, um, 4th of August, 1994. 
Watu mebenyi ndikiri bondila ogoskarotil na. Let me just interject there, Mrs. Ben Suda. Sorry, I don't want to lose this point. We've already discussed that the decrees had retrospective effect. Na kaja jana gokumi nyi ndikiri miyalanko ye londi na tana kule aku. And I'm putting it to you that the reason why they had retrospective effect and or retroactive effect and is because the council wanted to give some sort of legitimacy or force of law to their actions in case somebody decided to challenge it. Yeah, you okay the little minka ma wala nyindiko. Isaje tol council mol fon. Isaje ko ye kuo kuke. Ye tilimbali ako wala ye kuo kuke. Andong ya ko milla natara wo maril pareta pour que samba kiti dollar. E be minka la dora be fan suje la ni la nyin decree lu alela. Because even though the decree was not passed when that action took place, but then the law gave it validity. But hani wo be kanko ayatara fon kabri bo wo kuol nyin ke kan ayatara nyin decree nyin amallo. But hani say natana sembonti ya ni lu ala because of its retroactive nature. Katu ko mine wotina katu ya murundi ko mala ko min kuol min bekata no. Learned counsel, with respect, no law can give validity to torture. Luata keri meye nyin tonya ya ndika momuta kata jiri ya. These military officers, as you mentioned, were already in detention. We have instructions to draft decree number four. At least for the future, just taking the sections that you quoted one after the other. What, what, what decree number two one? Made possible at least for those who were not in detention. That they could not be detained without a detention order. Decree number uh, four or, or section two, subsection two and three. Did not empower anyone to torture persons in detention. To the extent that the fundamental human rights provisions were still in force. The decree assumes that all detention would comply with the fundamental human rights provisions. So to, to say that um, because the decree was given retroactive effect, that prob probably legitimized torture that was going on. Respect is not correct. What I was saying that it legitimized the actions of the government. Especially it certainly legitimized unlawful detention as we know it in the constitution. Because the procedure in which they detain people and the evidence is quite clear here, the TRRC was definitely not in consonance with the provisions of the constitution. And that, in my view, paved the way for other human rights violations such as torture. Decrees cannot legitimize the actions of the Armed Forces Provisional Ruling Council. It cannot legitimize torture. It cannot legitimize detention. What legitimize? Sorry, the trans. Decree olu tenying keno la kafoko katilindi wala kake sartoti purka molo muda wala kamolo tajireya wala kakuja olu kemo la kedimendi. And the Armed Forces Provisional Ruling Council knew 
that the only legitimacy they can get for their action during the transition period. And you sojaro lutumu itelia longo kuomensi itelu lakulu sambano aikeko kutilindi mulum itelu lamara rokono was the in to have an indemnity in the constitution of the Republic of the Gambia. Walem kabunda lundi Gambia la constitution okono me yalongo walebe kantaro kela molu la me yalongo ni yokuolu ke satara kute kelela. That is why they went to the, the they went to the extent of ensuring that we had the second schedule to the constitution indemnifying their actions during this period. O dalilo le ya sabu itata ka bunda fulanja ngi murundi na constitution okono me ya lonko wole be itali kantala ila kuketa luto be menukela wo kusartol fana la karola. And let me also remind you that legitimization must have an ob um, an objective yardstick. The, a decree which is made by the military cannot legitimize what the military does. It's the, dec it's the decree is made by them. They cannot legitimate their own actions. Decree. So legitimization connotes that some other process is used to give validity to something a person does. So, so with respect counsel legitimization in relation to decrees is a misnomer it is the Gambian people in the constitution, 1997 constitution, which supposedly went to a referendum that legitimized the actions of the AFPRC. Bring Gambia no liye kon referendum o nyinke karte o fai. Hanu fo wo sarto lu menu dunta 1997 constitution o kono. Wale o lu sembentu ya ke londi puruke ke kuti mensi tama. And from 1997, Eight. 1997, those provisions in, in the Constitution legitimizing and granting indemnity to the AFPRC remain in our laws. Wale ya sabu, lu sarto lu menye itelikanta ke tankandi tilindi Roma, wale tutan la Constitution o kono, wale ya kendi itela o kuketalu, kumana boje mensi ke tolu la kafoye nyineke. That is why Yankobature was able to raise it. And if you look at the judgments of our courts consistently from 1997, they have excluded themselves from having the jurisdiction to determine the legitimacy of decrees. So uh, I think it is wrong to try to infuse decrees with an authority that they don't have. As lawyers we know this about law. Law is merely a command that can be enforced by sanction. Where the decreased law during the um, transition period, to the extent that they reflect commands which had sanctions, which had consequences if you don't abide by them, those that were directed at people, Maybe you can continue. But to the extent that the Gambian people did not have the cons they did, uh, the military did not have the consent of the Gambian people to make the decrees. Then they were not laws. That's a philosophical debate. 
I was about to say that, Mrs. Bensula. Um, looking at the practical realities on the ground, as far as the Gambian public was concerned, we certainly had the force of law. As far as the military junta as well was concerned, they ruled by it and used it as, an, as, as law operated in the normal setting. And by this decrease, remember, Ms. Bensuda, you drafted them, they were equipped with, ex with legislative, executive, as well as judicial powers. Equipped with legislative, executive, as well as judicial powers. And Ms. Bensuda, you declare me in Kafoteng, and you take a motor meal and quit a ladder. Yes, symbol like a million and call and kitty bunda symbol, Lua deda symbol, and in me and command Sakunda and Yaton call the symbol for now. And this decrees actually validated their own unconstitutional actions. And don't for now, you declare the catafinity me and call your London call me along a counter or the running banco Lua Bokuba Betamaka. And in your position, you help them to achieve it. And do you take from a kundum or what woman able or Makamoto, a catamulti me and call your de Malapuria call Tamandino Wanyama? Yo, well, uh, the premise of your question, if the question is whether I help them, that premise, of course, is uh, is wrong, and I don't agree with it. Hello, Dinkira Kafo, Nininka Roko, no Kafo, Kufa, Fodu, Ntele, Imako, Iwukulu, Tamandola, Natara Wole Mude, Woto Manso, Woto La, Mbafala, Kowoto, Dal, Amanke, Kuti, Ntenyako, to Mentilinta. And I respect your answer, Ms. Bensuda, and I will allow the, con the commissioners to draw conclusions. The decrease did not validate anything done by the council. They did not need validation. The decrees provide that a framework for them to operate in which they operate. It was created by them. It was enforced by them. It was amended by them when they saw, saw fit. It was in fact, even where the decree said they could not do something, it did not prevent them from doing it because they had the power to do it. Then why so when, one, one might ask, Mrs. Bensuda, then what's the point? What's the point of the, the decrees if at the end of the day they would have done what they were going to do without it, that they were ruling anyway without the power of the decree? Then, then what was the point? What was the point for all of the framework and guidelines that you presented in the decree in that case? Because they were not bound to follow it anyway. What is saying, Ms. Bensuda, most of you are not going to be able to do it. But you are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. In my view, in my view, I mean, you might as well not have dirtied your hands by touching them. Just let them do what they're going to do. Ah, nta la mira lote imanya ne da kela nunge foye bulo nundi dunu yenta sila ye fele tolbe minke kaya woke dono. I do not consider my hands to be that dirty. Ma mira de kafom bulo lunota. I do not certainly consider my hands to be tainted. Alum ma mira fanangko kafoko mbulo lu idunta fengko no imanya duna dami. But it's a fair question to ask then, what is the point? I suppose it's convenient 25 years down the line to be asking those questions. Were we all to abandon the country and leave it to Yajame and his cohorts? Should I have resigned as Solicitor General? Should I even have stayed in America? These are all hypothetical questions 25 years down the line. At that time, having worked in the ministry for five years, 
Afonga wa yata na ngadu kwa kwa minister bunda Sorry, for 14 years. 14 years at that time. Having been solicitor general for 5 years. Ngadu kwa kwa sanji tani na nime palaso nyinto. Ndu nata sanji lulu fana nke solicitor general makamoto. Knowing that the situation we found ourselves in was not unique to Gambia. Ndata ata na ngombe tembo mento umukule ti meya alonko. Amanke kutembe ni mwote Gambia nkulu nyati limula. And taking a point of reference from how um, other countries, Nigeria, Ghana, Liberia, Sierra Leone, how all of them have dealt with the situation. And in Kasanti Angota, Ko, Bankudolu ya Akuokenu Nyami Mbiria Ketela Bankolu Kang, Menubeko Ghana, Nigeria, Ananyo Mbanku Kotengolu, Nio Santi Ngolu Jube. I took it, I took the decision. Mawa Kangota Nyine Kang. To come back. Purka Murunang. And uh, Solicitor General. And um, continue to work in the public interest as is my oath. Solicitor General Purga continue to work in the public interest as is my oath. So, in your view, you were some sort of savior, Mrs. Bensuda. So, I want to tell you, Mira Lota, come to get a ticket of Mollet in Mia Lanka and Natala Purka Tankan Droke. That's the picture I have in my mind when you describe the situation where if you had not actually intervened, this country would have gone down the line of chaos and anarchy. But for your intervention. Coming, Ndela Mira Lota, Naja Yami, Wellen Yitiko, coming Natal and Itamani Dabul and Yunko Konon, then Yim Banko Bekalam Bankulet in Mia Lanko, Cairo, and Tenkumo de Taranon in Banko Kano Watokon. Savior, I wish I was. No. Afo Kanandila, ah, Nam, as the Yanyan Nakoti, honey, Mankoti. I really wish that um, the military, the uh, military, who, who, who had the responsibility to secure the safety of this country. I was not savior. How However, the country was in anarchy. And what is anarchy? It was in a state of lawlessness. Where soldiers can knock on your door and throw you in prison. Other countries put in a coherent framework so that the military could interface with the public. And that's what that's all decrees are supposed to do. Create a framework so that people will know what to expect from the military. And hopefully, hopefully, the military will also understand the limits of their own um, actions. Afoko sojaro lu fanalu isinyi londo soto awala isa hakilo soto iteli nyanta dan na dami manyan tambila dami na. But let but let us not fool ourselves. The soldiers were in control and could do whatever they wanted. Arinka namfande nede sojaro lebe marali nkwola adu kukundu ndiyate heka tamandi wale nyama. The decrees did not enable do anything. Mrs. Vensura, it's very clear that the situation you explain about regulating and stabilizing the situation, I mean, it definitely did not happen. I, perhaps that was your aim and that was your objective, but it definitely did not happen. And you have also confirmed that because they did what they wanted. Do you Ms. have Bensura. any regrets? Ms. Benzuda, I want to Regret about what? Regrets about drafting the decrees. No, whatsoever, none. Okay, thank a, frame, a framework was needed. Even though it wasn't followed. And it was disregarded, as you and said yourself. Not everything. I, I did not say all the decrees were disregarded.
mafo ko ye nya kasi dikri ol bele la you said the soldiers did what they wanted to do ko soldier ol min min the beginning even before the decrees were passed i had a fun word dikri loa ni me what was the point say what o munen wo dal munen wo dal lo let me repeat the point was to create a framework within which they could operate whether they followed it or not that was the framework sarto moment wala nyinti ko ka kolu samba nyaani atamandi nya parendi ita tabula wono ma bang iman tabula wono ma bang bari nin ku de data me yalon ko anyanta kala wala nyaama ada data wala kama so even if it served merely decorative purposes it should just be there as a guideline even though no one was guided by it I, I think it's a wrong opinion to say that they serve decorative purposes. Um, just to give an example. Decree number 1 enabled them to although they had made a declaration about um, the cabinet ye kuma kan wolu fo le cabinet la carola bar decree number 1 fana nata ni silo yitandi decree number 1 gave them the structure within which the cabinet members could be appointed and could sit decree to number address the myriad of issues that had nothing that the country needed to be addressed that had nothing to do with um, uh, the the military decree follow ni wole ye silo yitandi la inyanta kolu tamandi la nyami inyanta kolu londi la nyami me ya lonko ite la mara roko no be kolu tamandi la wole nyama dikri folo ni yo bundale yele itelie pour yi salon be kolu sambala nyami the dikri also enable the government to know that it will continue to function under the laws that were in place wo dikri fana ni ni itandi la ko ibe tamano la le luwa lu koto men ya lonko wole be loring e nyati li nyal in other words decree number 1 enable the public to know what the situation was decree, and enable life to go on decree folo ni na fanan nata jama ma koy pour ya long mune be caring anim fanam pour molu la signa ni balu nya si tenten in other words decree number 1 was the mou memorandum of understanding between the people and the military if i may put it that way nin sa folo nya ma decree folo ni wala mu ñoo faamu county jamaa moolu ni sojaro lu tema o tembo just like a constitution is the memorandum of understanding between the people the governed and the governors o constitution mu ñoo faamu county nyamin jamaa moolu ini man sakunda ni maral bundalu tema so so we should not infuse it with some other you know some other attributes that uh, Yeah, Mrs. Mm -hmm. Bensura, just yes. to conclude, really, right. certainly it is clear, even from your own testimony, that the junta never had the consent of the public to do what they were doing. So I don't see how you could call that an MOU between the people and the junta. You said their government was illegitimate, and you know we've gone through all of that. Um, so I don't see how that could be an MOU. Mrs. Bensura, come here for me for a moment. In the marriage, come here for a moment for come here. Banco Lua 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 Ning, Bukuba Ning. When Ning more tema, come here. Iko Omo Feneti Mia Nka Kafa Memorandum of Understanding. Wole Nyomo Wole Bekeri Nga Damal Tem. Omo Nka Feneti Mia Nka Kete Wole Nyam Bunya Be Kamala. But in order to, it's a it's a it's a good point. Bunda Nyimala Mjiti. That you make. Thank you for acknowledging yes, uh, that. The memorandum of understanding did not require the consent of the people. That is true. Not that it did not require. It, it did not have the, the, the consent. The people never consented to this. Never did. I think we are saying the same thing. I'm not, not too sure, Mrs. Bensud. I doubt if we are saying the same thing. Ah. I'm saying something very different. It did not require the people's consent. Because it, it was ruled, they were ruling by the barrel of a gun. And the people it never consented it to that. No more than a man saw what. There, sorry. Sorry. I mean, one can debate all these issues, mostly philosophical. But let me make it absolutely clear. And I would like to underscore it. 
I take no responsibility for the actions of the military. And for those of us who try to stabilize the, 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 the situation, I think we, in fact, are entitled to commendation. I feel neither tainted by what happened or the role I played. And whatever I did was entirely consistent with my duty to the country and my duty as Solicitor General. Attorney General. Attorney General. Attorney General. Attorney General. And I understand your point about not taking responsibility for the actions of the AFPRC. No for nga for ha mo kele muna tine man son coming ning AFPRC man so kundanyo wale njuntanyo nti la manyal miyala nko ya wale keno. And let me just but also let add, me just sorry, finish so my point that and take the so that so that I don't lose I don't lose my thread of thought please. But let me just finish please. But don't have money. Please with all due respect. I'm at the listening end so I'll give you priority yes. Thank you very much I really appreciate that. Despite the fact that uh, you're saying that the, A the AF um, PRC did not actually, um, I have lost, I've actually, suc you've succeeded in helping me to lose I'm, my I'm, trend I'm, of I'm, thought, I'm, which I'm, <laughs> I'm sure that was your I'm, I'm your glad goal. you know, no, yeah, not really. I'm glad you, you understand my difficulty when you make these long statements and expect me to answer. Okay, go ahead and answer, and then by that time I I just have... wanted to add, and I take no responsibility for the decrees. Yeah. I take no responsibility. Well. You have now reminded me of yes. my question. Yes, I thought you were going to, in fact, yes, in that. That, yes. yes. In, in terms of coming up with the concept and the idea, um, the blueprint for the decrees, I understand that. But do you not take any personal responsibility for assisting in their drafting? Coming up with an why, actual why decree I? and placing it on the table of the junta? I, I, I don't understand why I should. They had no know-how, they had no skill to draft decrees. I doubt if they could have made an effective review of those decrees at that point. They just took whatever you said, Co as far as I'm concerned. I don't know if you have any decrees in your country. I don't know if you have any decrees in your country. I don't know if you have any decrees in your country. I don't know if you have any decrees in your country. But I don't know if you have any decrees. The suspension of the um, constitution. Suspension of the courts and all of that. Because Kitty Dunkral Deng, Bobankola Bukulua Bafana Deng. But it was reiterated in the decrees. But Hani will be a bit not an hour. Why was there need to do so? If their actions had force of law anyway. That's understand and reconcile with. But I think that the general public as well. Really would like to understand that. You know, as you said, sometimes there, there can be a philosophical debate as to what is law and what is not. But in practical terms, what was operating in this country? What, is, what was operating in this country before the decree was nothing. nothing was operating. What a fenty. When, when I came back, nothing was operating. For the one week, the military were doing exactly what they wanted. And people did not know. And people did not know the framework within which what was going on, the framework within which this military were operating. I, I call that anarchy. So I, I don't, maybe I don't understand. The your framework question. really had nothing to do with, with, with what they were doing, because they continue to do what they were doing anyway. 
Tamandil Burling, Woman Kumaya, Mrs. Bensura. Katuna, you be a mink cake and limit them or restrict their actions. A bemink cake, I left them in a bowl of cake and Bunda to Jimmy Alanko. They continue to unlawfully detain people, they continue to torture people. I continue to come all Tijeria, I continue to come all Mabo. Even after passing of the decree, I had a fun fun Jenny Bewo decree Luan. So, what was the framework all about? Say, I want a moon and Tamandil Burling in Bemumeti. You must remember also, I mean, I, I agree that they continue to do what they wanted. So the decree, decree or no decree, they will do what they wanted. Zondako be kolo keka ne laftala nyamin. Decree lomban, decree ntebang. Itel be la kolo keka ne laftala nyamin. You must recollect that the vast majority of the decrees that were passed during this period. Ziyakilo bula nyina ko decree jamalu menu be ye tambindi wo wuche okononum. Had nothing to do with the um, arrest or detention. Well, these were just regular decrees uh, that were that would have been passed in the National Assembly for the good functioning of government. But for now, and, and, but for now, and for so, the purposes so, of no, the TRRC, no, no, it's Mrs. Very, it's very important to put TRRC cannot be. Um, uh, um, the issues of the decree in the TRRC cannot be handled in isolation. There wasn't a set of decree that had a life of its own that violated the rights of the people, and another sort of set of decrees that that were that were you know applicable in terms of the functioning of government, and so on. The decrees were decrees. So um, yes, when it came to the decrees that affected you know the liberty of the subject, um, the sanctity of the human being. Um, this is what the TRRC is looking at. But it should not be looked at in isolation. So I'm, I'm quite concerned that the decrees are being give, infused with some sort of, I don't know, attribute that don't exist. Decrees were just rules that were put in place. Decree now when it came to... Sorry. De TRRC be jube Roman ke kan wolam ka jube o decree lu ye londi ay men sababu akola anin akata menti ibe o le jube kan pour ka kusanu soto je memu to nyati decree o le men sababu ani mam men sababu bar niaji be fanang e wolu kolu mu kulleti men yalon ko nyilu be la kolu ke kan decree bi soto ndaban decree man soto ban itel be la kolu tamande kan ne nyado nyama hani wato me o decree o man lo because of our mandate, sorry, Mrs. Bensula, because of our mandate to investigate human rights violations. I agree that there are a set of decrees. I agree that there are a set of decrees um, that, of course, are crucial to your mandate. We must focus decree, on those. Yes, decree, decree number one is not one of them. Decree the following I disagree. Decree number one, yes, of course. The decree number one merely set the basis for government by the military. Decree following ye kolu lanya le yitandi, soja rolula inyanta man ilamansa kundata man. What about decree number three? Do you agree and that there was room for the junta to violate human rights and decree lawful detention? Decree number for three nyundu. For ya mirawe silo di junta la priya hadamadunga la nyanto tinyamang. No, in terms of Silodi, as he put it, it did not... I don't understand Mandinka. <laughs> uh, it paved the way. You are agreeing that it paved the way? You are agreeing that it paved the way? It or you are not, not agreeing? No. They were already violating human rights. What, what the decree did was to set down a procedure which should be followed if people are to be detained there must be a detention order yes it could it did not take away the right of the vice chairman his discussion which he refused for it to be taken away it did not take away his his powers to deal with the detainees in terms of where they should be remanded and so on but it it put in the minimum that i think uh, we we should be. I and Cherno worked on these things. Decree or the decree followed the little menti. What I mean to call. 
kasilo lu nin taram bulo lu londi min itelu sonta nun pour que ta ma melu la men ya lon ko wolebe kala ku kendolti isi mara ro ke no nyami nda nin cherno denta nga o silo le do ku ibe chor lon ko wolebe kala taram bulo lu ibe chorna juma le ka chorna juma la foto oh misa cherno jalo qc wolam cherno jalo te qc he is now the supreme court judge saying supreme court kitindir la la mate we were we grew up in a democratic as lawyers we, we, worked, we grew up in a democratic context in a context where fundamental human rights were supreme we could you put your name to these decrees mrs bensura taking that into consideration i mean with everything that you described about the the democratic setting of gambia and the respect for rule of law and human rights and then you assist in drafting or i would say that you drafted these decrees that suspended the constitution comme na da silol mi itandi comme gambe banko kan democratie ka tama nyama hada ma dongol la nyanto han wo be etena de da bla nyim degree economie ala ko yewol le de daten i was the jurisdiction of the courts and gave legislative powers to the to the kiti bundal den ka sembo di mo la mi ala ko le be maralo la ni wo wato ko that is not in consonance with democratic principles as we know wo man ka fendi mi ala ko isa ku na so in my view i would not have touched those decrees but your opinion is that but you don't want to say the word savior but you did come to save us i'm glad i'm glad i'm glad you are not me indeed say what i man ka conte we form we form we acted responsibly Mrs. Bensoud, I think we'll agree to disagree at this point, and we'll close for the lunch. I'll just refer you to the chairman before we do so. We will break for the lunch, not close. We'll come back after lunch. Thank you.